ventilation in a beehive. Why is this important? Because condensation kills more hives than food stores, lack of food stores during the winter. So this could be a major problem. What happens in the winter, you've got your bees clustered in here, cold air outside. Now these bees are trying to keep warm, there's, so there, there's heat coming off. The heat rises to the top and it condenses on the top board, turning to moisture because of the cold air on the outside. So what you want to do is get you a good ventilation box and throw on here. This is a ventilation box that I have thrown on here, on this hive. So let's, uh, let's break down these ventilation boxes and a couple different styles of them. Okay, here's two different kinds we'll go over. And both of these can be made from mediums, supers, deeps. It's just whatever you got that's extra equipment. And what I've used here is a medium for this one. And I've taken window screen and stapled on the bottom, covered the whole bottom, and then I put a queen excluder over top of that. On the inside, you can see I've just covered it with about four inches of sawdust. On the inside edge, all the way around, I have window screen stapled over holes that I, one inch holes that I have drilled from the outside at an upward angle. Now the reason for this is any rainwater won't be able to run in, it would run out. But to further help protect the rainwater from getting in, I have taken drip edge or metal flashing and stapled it over the holes, which there you can see them. That is probably not necessary, it was just an extra precaution that I took. And this is one way to keep the condensation to a minimum. Now another idea, which these are some ventilation covers that I have made. Now let me break these down and show you how, how these work. I have one here that's broke. Take this off. Basically, it's a piece of three-quarter blue insulation sandwiched between two pieces of MFD. Now I would not recommend you use the MFD like I've done here. Use the Luon if you decide to make these for yourself. And as you can see, it's dated out on the back where this goes on there. In the middle, have a two-inch hole and actually took some pieces of metal and put over the hole. Now the bees can get through this. These have worked great. Absolutely superb during the, for the winter and keeping the con condensation down. Okay, another thing you can do is you can get you uh, your half inch or three quarter inch blue insulation. Cut it to the dimensions of an inner cover. And then you can go on eBay and get you these giant bags, which you can get them on there in Ziploc. And you stick them down in here. And with the Ziploc, of course, you just zip it to lock it. With this, I would just fold it over and duct tape it. And then I would use this for my inner cover. Now, without the plastic, I'm not so sure that the the styrofoam itself would be 100% waterproof. That's why I suggest this plastic bag. This time of year, it's very important to make sure that you have removed your excluders. If you have not, you're setting your queen up for disaster. Your queen needs to be able to move with the cluster to keep warm. So make sure your excluders have been removed. Another thing I wanna go over with with ventilation is an upper entrance. And this is gonna do you two things. In the winter, as your bees start to slowly die off, which is typical, you'll start to lose bees from fall. And they'll start to die off. So well, they're gonna build up on the bottom. And with it being cold outside, the house bees aren't gonna be able to clean up anything. They're gonna be clustered. So with that being said, the dead bees are going to accumulate on the bottom. And sometimes what can happen is this pile of dead bees can block, block off your only entrance on the bottom, which makes it impossible for your bees to get out. 
So an upper entrance can prevent this. And at the same time, it can help, it'll help keep the air circulating throughout the hive and help maintain moisture control. So with that being said, there's two reasons to make sure you have an upper entrance. Now, if you don't want to drill a hole in your box, you do have choices. You could throw on an inner cover with a notch at the bottom for the bees to exit. But you are going to want to make sure that your notch is big enough for two bees to get through at once. Because if they're cleaning up any dead bees inside the colony, you'll want a way for them to get out. So if you have questions on any of these, don't be afraid to ask. That's what I'm here for, to help you out. So uh, there we go, ventilation, very important.